Good day, everyone, and welcome to this week's website for sale showcase. And this week we've got Marco Reeves from Empire Flippers again. Good day, Marco. How are you going? So, Matt, I was, was going to say Matt, but we got Liz here on the <laughs> on the Zoom. But how are you going, mate? Very well. And um, so, Marco, this week you've got a really interesting site for us in a in a pretty specific niche. Actually, do you want to explain to us what the site is? That's actually why I wanted to talk about it because it is quite specific. So this mm. one is uh, for anyone there, they can go on our marketplace, uh, empireflippers.com and then listing number 47985. So this is another content site, very well aged, 12 years old actually. Uh, How old was that, sorry? Did 12 and a half years old. Right, nice one. So it's an extremely, extremely well aged website. Yeah. Uh, and this one's specifically in the legal space. So the, the current owner is you know, uh, producing content uh, around legal type products or, uh, and then linking to different type legal products and uh, getting affiliate commissions from that. Nice one. So, this is a, so it's a standard content site making affiliate commissions. And what yep. sort of revenues are them or what profits are they making each month? So, uh, so income is, so monthly revenue uh, averaging throughout the pricing window is uh, 4,149 uh, and then a monthly profit is 4,066. So just, just around $150 in expenses for the whole business. Okay. So they not, love, not bad. Don't love content sites, $150 in expenses. Good and, margins, uh, yeah. So, so for our listeners who are own their own businesses, you're probably sitting there going, if you've got a bricks and mortar business, this is why you should be considering buying websites. So costs of this site are $150 a month and it's netting $4,000 a month. Um, for sure, just online businesses in general, you know, the, the multiples of the, the return you get on your investment, it's not really matched by anything else. And then combine that with the low overheads. Um, you can tell why I'm a fan. So. Yeah, that's right. And, and maybe we should tempt our traditional bricks and mortar businesses even even more with this how this online model works. How much work do you reckon the owner does on this one, Marco? I'm guessing not as much as a bricks and mortar owner. So for sure. Uh, so this one, this owner is currently spending around three hours a week on the business, <laughs> uh, and that's just formatting and publishing content. Uh, and then updating plugins and maintaining the actual website, checking emails, and then doing some some link building. So, three hours a week, or, or what, three, six, about 12 hours a month for 4,000 USD in profits. Yep. Um, yeah, can't complain about that. No, and, and staff, probably hardly any staff would just be outsourced VAs and writers, I'd, I'd guess. Yeah, I don't believe this business, you know, some do, but this one in particular doesn't have any. Uh, have any employees attached. Um, nice. So, there, I mean, there are a couple of ways people can play that. If you're in the legal, uh, if you're in the legal field, it's a good place for you to start generating content and you can Absolutely. possibly write your own content. Yeah. Or as a lot of people do, is you can just go ahead and outsource, uh, outsource that. So, it, um, is it a site where you, you don't need to be a legal expert yourself, do you? You can outsource everything. Is that right? For sure. You know? You don't have to be a legal ex you don't have to be an expert in any websites. I mean, it can't hurt, of course, yep. but uh, for a lot of people who just see it through the numbers, which is a lot, uh, you can just hire someone uh, or outsource the writing and then, and uh, yeah, you can sort of lay back and just make sure the content is published at a particular time. And for a site like this, this particular site, that four thousand dollars a month is that has that been steady is there any indication what it's done over the last 12 years or say the last five years is is it increasing is it just sitting rock steady i like this one so whenever uh if, if anyone ever can come in and to the listing listing page and unlock the listing you will say it's specifically over the last 12 months it's had a really nice growth growth curve uh, mm -hmm. we've got a nice pretty graph that is there so okay. especially over the last 12 months it's had uh, some nice growth uh, and then especially the traffic as well has actually very nice and steady, uh, nice and even curve going up. Nice. And where's the traffic from? What, what country is this mainly serving? Uh, so 53% USA, 18% UK, 2% Canadian. The rest are just 2% is yeah. here and there. Yeah. Mostly made up of organic search. Yeah. Uh, there's some direct traffic there, but yeah, 91% is coming from organic search here. Nice. So, so it's just got that age sitting there in Google, ticking along, and it, it's doing really well. 
For sure. I mean, like there, they do the, the social media is very sparse with this one. So that's obviously an opportunity. No email list. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm a big proponent of email lists. Yeah. Uh, so you know, if I was to look at purchasing this and looking at ways to expand, that's, yeah, that's what I would be looking at. Yeah. So that's, and th- to be clear, this doesn't sell its own products or anything. It's purely just yep. promoting other products that are out there on the net and getting, presumably it's getting an affiliate commission. So it uses an affiliate link. And if someone buys a legal product that this site recommends, then the owner gets a commission. Yes, exactly. And this one is, it's not even Amazon Associates, which is a very popular yeah, affiliate definitely. program out there. This, this is just uh, other legal type affiliate programs. Okay. And uh, yeah, they're doing very well for themselves. So they have quite high commissions then. So give a good margin of safety for a buyer there as well. For sure. And uh, it- actually, actually with this one, I, I can't go into what the actual affiliate program is. You know, no, that's anyone, who un- anyone who unlocks, yeah, feel free to see. <laughs> yeah. But uh, currently... Uh, recently had a change from 50% commissions all the way up to 75% because wow. it's digital. Yeah. Which is amazing because it's digital That's type products. Awesome. So because there's no physical aspect, it's a lot cheaper for the, um, for the promoters. And so they will typically a lot more generous with their commissions. Okay. So there's a lot more scope than presumably for the, the new owner of this website. If they really want to start working more than three hours a week on it um, to grow it, if they, it's worth, I guess what I'm saying is worth the while of a new owner to get in and grow up with new um, oh, good commissions like that. For sure. Like typically the, what we mark on our listing page, how much the, the owner is currently spending on it. That's typically just to maintain the, the current yeah. performance of the business, of course. And if someone's willing to put in the effort, uh, you know, if you're willing to put them in more than three hours a week, uh, possibly yeah. three or four times that, yep. yeah, uh, you, you could do a lot with these types of websites. Perfect. So it's a standard content site making four grand a month. It's on the up and 75% affiliate commissions. There's a lot of margin there. It's so you've got money to keep growing the site if you wanted to. So if someone wanted to buy this site, Marco, um, they, they come and uh, look at the listing with Empire Flippers and then they've got to go through and do their due diligence, don't they? For sure. So that, that's something we're very good at. We've got a very strict vetting process. So we'll obviously do our best to provide the uh, most accurate information uh, about the business. And we're, we're very good at that. However, of course, we always stress that due diligence is the responsibility of the of the buyer. It's, it's your investment. So I encourage you to take any necessary steps there. But yes, once you unlock a listing, we'll provide a lot of the inf- financial information, the actual websites, income verification, also the Google Analytics account. Uh, just a lot of the information that allows you to do your own due diligence. And then we can also look at setting up conference calls so you can speak with the seller. And uh, hopefully after that call, you've got enough information to make a decision on the business. Perfect. And one final question that I know everyone's going to be asking. Um, Mm -hmm. Any indication why the seller is selling this site? Um. This one in particular, well, I've spoken to this seller and they do want to, this one in particular wants to move on to, uh, I believe, invest in some property. So, and just having cash. That's why people always want to sell these types of businesses. Yeah. uh, Because a lot of the time they're very, very passive. So it is a good argument. Why don't you just keep it there? And this one's earning four. Why don't you just take the 4,000 a month? Just comes down to your individual goal because 4,000 a month is great but having 120,000 in cash That's provides right. you different opportunities. So it just comes down to your different goals and typically just cash is the reason people would want to sell these yeah. businesses. And they're getting a couple of years earnings up front, so they can use that money elsewhere. And, and we find this all the time with, with sellers. Everyone's got their reasons why. And, and you know, people have like often, like you said, they want to roll the money over either into a bigger website or property or some other business venture that they're starting up. And it, it's a, quick and easy way for them to raise, you know, two years rev, um, profits. So that's it. Not a bad outcome and the, the owner's done really well. So that sounds like a fantastic listing. No wonder you picked that one today, Marco. Thank you so much for it, that. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, that, that's a really exciting, I might have a chat to you about that one myself. On, I really man. like that niche, by the way. It's, uh, I've seen some very, anyone listening, I've seen some really good websites, very successful websites in that niche. And I'm actually not surprised by those really high commissions because it is such a valuable niche, a legal niche. All our clients know that um, that's a very hot niche. So to get an SEO site in that space that's 12 years old, 
that's that's very impressive. So thanks so much for sharing that today, Marco. My pleasure. And we'll put the link down the bottom here for everyone to go and check out that listing. And you can have a chat to Marco at Empire Flippers about that one. Awesome. Thanks so much. All right. Thanks, Matt.